You know, I like to watch one of my favorite podcasts, and that's Mac Yak. And I've actually been on one episode of Mac Yak, and it was a wonderful experience. But I also like their topics that they have. And they had a very, very interesting topic last Thursday of this week. And that is somebody developed a new version of Snow Leopard. But not just that. It's actually been developed just for the PowerPC Macintoshes. So that is enabling more useful life out of your PowerPC Mac. And the name of it's called Sorbet Snow Leopard. Now, I don't know about the name. A lot of controversy has been going on about the name of it, but I think it's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I thought I would install it on my iSight G5 iMac, which was the last version of the G5 series iMac that they made switched over to the Intel processor. So what we're going to do is we're going to install that and see how that works. And we're going to download this from the Macintosh Garden. They have this all ready for download right there. And we're going to download that. And if you want to get a copy of it, I'll put a link on this video where you can download it. There's also a purchase version of it too. But today we're going to download the free version of it. So once we get this downloaded, we're going to put it on the iMac G5. Okay, so we now have the Sorbert Leopard install, and we went ahead and we downloaded it on a USB drive, and then I plugged it into the back of the uh, G5 iMac here. We let it uh, load up on the screen here. What we're going to do now is we are going to um, pair this on the uh, iMac here. So what we're going to do is um, I need to go to the drive here. And I need to partition it because I just have one partition on it. So let's partition it here. So let's add a partition. And we're going to make this one Let's see, that's 149, that one's 82. So we're going to make this over 100 gigabytes, and that calls for 20 gig partition or larger, so we'll be good. So let's uh, do that. partition it here. Okay, so we dropped it in there. So now what we're doing is we're doing a restore and we're restoring it to the uh, new partition, which we're calling it SSD2 at the time, but we will change the name on that. And it's going to take a little time, so we'll speed it up here.
Okay, well, we finally got it uh, restored. So now what we can do is we can select this and see if this machine will boot. So what we're going to do is we're going to click out of disk utility here and we're going to go to the system preferences and what we're going to do then is we're going to go to a startup disk oh look at there there's 10.5 ssd 2 this is the one we want right here this is sobert leopard so what we're going to do is we're going to select that And we're going to restart. And let's see what happens on boot up here. Now boot up will take a little bit longer because it does have to load some uh, KTEX cache on initial boot, but we will find out real soon here. That's a good sound. Now, like I said, it will take a little longer on boot up because it's got to load some information on it. I can hear it accessing the optical drive. This has an SSD in it. Oh, look at there. We got the Apple startup. So far, so good. Okay, so as soon as it finds the mouse here, we can play it, but that's the new splash screen on Sobert. Let's, uh, re let me repair the mouse here, to it here. We'll try it again here, there we go. There we go, now I found the mouse. There we go. All right. And now it's looking for the keyboard here. Now we're, the mouse is connected here. And again, we'll turn the uh, keyboard off here. We'll turn it back on so it can find it here. There we go. It found the keyboard. An error. Oh, probably because it's looking for my other keyboard here. Let's turn this off here so it doesn't confuse it here. We'll try it again. There we go. So let's put in the code here. Let's see. go continue okay now it's now it's hooked up to our network here and it's loading up the Apple page there on the Apple website like I said my Wi-Fi is very slow so it's going to take a little time for it what I might do is create a hotspot on my phone here to make it go a lot quicker here But look at that. Still loading up here. And you can see it. scrolling is very, very smooth on this. In Leopard, it would never be this smooth on the internet. 
because what I had to use before is 10.4 Firefox. But look how nice that moves. That scrolls really nice. Very impressed. So now let's uh, go to uh, YouTube. And let's see how it loads up with this here. So let's go to YouTube. let it load up like I said the Wi-Fi on this is not going to be as fast but my Wi-Fi is very slow in this house whenever I do any streaming or uploading videos or anything like that I use my uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max here I used to use my uh, iPhone 7 Plus and I would stream off of that and I would upload YouTube videos on that otherwise it take forever because I only have like less than a megabyte upload so this will take just a little bit longer to load up here, like I said, because it's not, uh... As it gets loaded up, it'll get smoother here. See, there we go. Now we're starting to scroll here. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's, uh... Let's look for something. How long it takes to pull it up here. And you can see my upcoming stream. That's going to be this coming Sunday. So let's um, take a look here. And there's some of my favorite people I watch. Uh, there's uh, Sean on Action Retro. There's uh, Mac Yak. That's uh, when I was a guest on it. Had a lot of fun on there. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Mac Yak. Well, that's not too bad, bad is it, huh? Nerds doing this evening. Seems to work pretty good there. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to breathe. So Look at that, that, that looks pretty darn good. Aging with these covers is that they, they get scratched over time and they get cracked and they get brittle as all computer covers do. Although these fare a little bit better because these that are place pretty good. Wow, I'm pretty carbon. impressed. And the manufacturing plastic codes, they usually will designate. So I will pause that there. But yeah, I can never, with regular leopard or tiger, you can't even get on YouTube. If you do, when you play it, you'll get the, you'll get the audio. But the video, it's like looking at a slideshow at very best. With 10.4 tube, it's much, much better. Uh, but this is better yet because this is doing it natively without any help. So this is very, very impressive. I'm very impressed with this. So far as YouTube, that works pretty good. Let's get out of Safari here. And let's just kind of go into the... Um, applications here and see what kind of applications we have here that's on this already. Let me make this box a little bigger here. So we have uh, the normal stuff that you'd have with Leopard. Uh, you have front row. Let me make this box a little bigger here so we can eat it, look at it a little better. So we have uh, front row and we have, uh, what else do we have here? Just the normal stuff, We've got dashboard, uh, image capture, Safari, which we just used. Well, that's Safari, but this is WebKit Safari. This is the modified version of it. And you get QuickTime Player. And this one is the QuickTime, uh, let's see, this one is the version 7.7 .7 on it. So this is the better version of QuickTime. It has Time Machine on it there. 
which is real handy. Uh, let's go into have mail. So you basically have the same stuff that you have on uh, leopard and snow leopard. All right, this is just a hybrid of it. Very good though. This is pretty neat as far as utilities. And boy, this thing's really snappy. You just click it. Now I'm on an SSD drive, so that makes a huge difference. But this utility looks the same as it would on regular leopard or snow leopard. Um, but we have, uh, let's see, just uh, pretty much the same stuff that you would have on it. All this, a lot of this stuff has all been updated here. What else we got here? Let's take a look at um, system preference. Actually, let's get out of that. Now, let's look at the different uh, screen savers here. You have desktop, and you have different ones that you can pick from here. Apple Images. Okay, let's see, Nature. And let's see what else we have here. Plants. Black and white. Abstract. Your solid colors. Your pictures folder. Apple images. Regular screen savers that you normally would have on them. That yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah. A few things there. But I'll leave this one here. This is called Aurora. There's the ripper, that's the uh, leopard aurora. That's the normal screen saver you usually have. Now what I want to do actually is I want to get uh, the, the picture of that Sobert leopard. Uh, when you go to Macintosh Garden there, and by the way, I will put a link on here. But anyway, yeah, so this uh, works the same as the other one did. And you got the iDVD, everything, you got the keyboard layout, about Sobert Leopard here. So this is some of the stuff that, uh, the improvements that is on it here. So you have faster startup times, application launch times, and network performance is better, smoother, and more fluid UI animations, full compatibility with Apple aluminum keyboard and Apple magic mouse with momentum scrolling, uh, desktop pictures, use pictures, screen savers, fonts, Apple, for Mac Snow Leopard, uh, a long app such as Dashboard, Front Row, Time Machine, Java Preferences, System Profiler. One thing I like about this is you have the updated security certificates in line with Mac OS High Sierra, updated applications including WebKit, Mail, WebKit integration with QuickTime, Pro Bash, and deeply integrated optimizations such as reduced OS size, reduces CPU and RAM usage. Power PC only code everywhere, system wide, and blocking. Add file in memory to repair disk permissions. Okay, so. So, command shift and A.
Very cool. I'm going to really have to play with this here, but boy, this is really, this is really cool. You get all kinds of tweaks you can do in this system here. I really like that. Very cool. Get iTunes. So version of iTunes this is. Let's see what we got here. So this is version 10. Okay, very good. Alright. So that seems to be working. Very cool. Well, I am definitely going to play around with this. This is a lot of fun. I'm just going to find me a custom wallpaper on here. I bet I can find one of those and put it on here. Save that picture. Let me go back here to Macintosh Garden. All right, so let's uh, get in there. There, I got that. And I'll have to find a little better version of that Sorbet Leopard on there for the screensaver there. Um, that's not very, very high quality, but we'll keep looking. We'll find a real good picture of it there. So yeah, so this worked out really well. I am very happy. This is a wonderful upgrade. So we have Sorbet Leopard 10.5. 5.9. Pretty neat. And I found out about this through Mac Yak. I'm going to put a link to their website. I'm also going to put a link to Macintosh Garden so you can download a copy of this for yourself. So I really appreciate you watching this video. I really appreciate it on the review on this Sorbet Leopard 10.5.9. I'm going to put this on my G4 Cube as soon as I get that new updated board in it and I'm just waiting for Sean from Action Retro to he made me a custom CD so I can load the firmware on it to run this card and I can hardly wait to get it and that way I can finish up the video and show you so anyway I really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up please like and subscribe we're on Twitter and MeWe you can follow me on that and on that note you guys have a great rest of your weekend and have a great rest of your day bye